and welcome back to another episode of the Careful Boys. And we got Tesh over here, y'all. Hey. Yeah. What's up, Tesh? What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? I'm good. How's everybody? Yeah, we're good, man. Heard some heard some through the grapevine about a new movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> new movie, December eleventh. Mm. Well, we got a promo. Let's Yo, go. Comedy Let's go. Central That's coming up. Ooh. Hot mess holiday. Oh, Hot shit. mess holiday. This Sorry. was going so perfect. I forgot what time it's at. <laughs> but I, if I had to guess, but look it up. If I had to guess, it's I'm Comedy Central. Right Hot mess holiday. If I had to guess, either like nine eight central. 10, 9 central. That's good. That's good Everyone's time. just DVR it, watch it, all right? That's nice. It. No one all right, guys. Hot mess holiday. <laughs> Saturday, December 11th at 7 p.m. Pacific or Eastern? Or 9 p.m. Double showing, even better. You love it, watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Diwali? That's correct. What's Diwali? I heard it Diwali. before. It's the Festival of Lights. It's the uh, Hindu celebration of good oh. overcoming evil. Oh. Oh. Is that when you threw, yeah, throw the, the fire oh. firecrackers? That's holy. Oh, that would, yeah, that's, that's like, like more the, of like a spring like harvest oh. celebration. Oh. Uh, this is more... Uh, Lots of firecrackers and What fireworks. character are you playing there? The Indian guy. I play an Indian guy. There's many Indian people in this yeah. movie. A lot of great Indian Give us a spoiler. Actors. Give us one spoiler that's like, not gonna spoil it. But it's a spoiler. Huh? <laughs> it's the funniest movie you'll ever see. Really? Maybe. <laughs> you gotta watch to find out. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch oh, to yeah, find dude. out. And if you wanna make sure, off. watch it twice. <laughs> it says, a a finance executive is dumped by her cheating fiance during the Diwali holidays. Her best friend is now determined to help her have a wild holiday. Yeah. How You're the cheating fiance, about? huh? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Who do you play? Who do you play? Are you the best friend? Are you the look, male best friend look. that's friend zoned and then has to like spend the entire movie like you know? showing her? I wish I could tell you. Oh. But you just gotta watch and find out. Don't you like all my showbiz sayings? Don't you like Dude. all my old Hollywood? This guy does press, yo. I've been trained well by the commercial machine. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but you guys got a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. What? That movie hasn't come out yet. I know, that's probably why. <laughs> I was like, did you rate it right now as a zero? Yeah, give it, give it a rate, that's man. Sick, that's dude. dope. Yeah. Congrats, man. Melanie Chandra, Serena Jindal. Cal Pen. Oh shit! So, have you have you seen the like the final cut of? I have not. Oh, I've seen. Not. Oh, I I've seen, seen this. Uh, I've seen I'm a promo it. for this. I just realized that. Yeah. I got. A, I think I got a buddy in it named Kunal Dudek. Oh okay. yeah, oh, he's Kunal. A, yeah, no Kunal, real no. well. Kunal and I are in another movie called Definition Please, directed by Sujata Day. Hopefully it'll be out very soon. Oh, we got a lot coming out. A lot of secrets. Funniest movie you'll ever see, That's the second funniest movie you'll ever see. It's That's a dramedy, so that's why. There's some sad things in there. Is this more just like a pure comedy? A hot mess holiday? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like it's a straight late night buddy comedy. So you guys have a good time. No stereotypical tropes. Is it like an Indian bridesmaids kind of situation? Like that kind of comedy? With no stereotypical tropes? I would say it's very much against that machine. Oh. Nice. Very much against that machine. Oh. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> It'll like be the comedy. worst movie. No, I'm just <laughs> If there's no Indian stuff that's like... Don't worry, you, you're not, you're not gonna see anyone getting arranged marriage, like anything like that. I don't think there's any doctors. In the, in the climax, <laughs> is there like a Bollywood scene? At the end, in the credits, is there a huge, like, the major end, festival so. performance yeah. in no. the streets where all the even oh, the antagonists? Oh, then that what's dances? the point? Yeah, there's a little dancing in the in the in the opening. I have normal oh, Indian God. friends I can watch. I want to go to the movies <laughs> and watch a pretend <laughs> fake Indian thing. You, you want to watch Indian people getting scolded by their or parents. a buff? <laughs> Indian dude, Does that like, make, would that make you feel better? Pack. That's a feel good movie, right? You know the super buff twelve pack Indian dudes in movies? Oh my <laughs> God, I love those guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite genre. They're all oily. Yeah. Bollywood's crazy, man. They fucking fly on elephants and stuff like that. Have you guys watched? Have you ever? Have any of you guys seen a Bollywood movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? But well, you guys dance, right? So like, I've yeah. Have you? Had I've seen the Indian dance films, which I love. Yeah. I actually really like yeah, them a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Indian action movies. Yeah, those are the ones I've seen. Just the crazy ones. They're kind of crazier than Fast and the Furious sometimes. Okay. They're way oh, yeah. crazier. <laughs> <laughs> way crazier. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know any of the titles to any of these movies, but I'm sure you guys have seen like the YouTube clips. Of, Whatever like, the, the dude's like on the horse like, and he like, yeah. Yeah. he's like, he's like slides underneath an 18 wheeler, <laughs> like just straight up Mario Kart slide. I love those, dude. <laughs> I like anything with Prabhu Deva in it. Prabhu Deva? Yeah. Yeah, he's like the Michael Jackson of India. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. that's Bollywood. amazing. He would be your idol. Incredible. He Incredible. Would be my idol? He's yeah, incredible. He's my new idol. Incredible. Who's the uh, like George Clooney of India? There's like a super like. Well, so the Shah Rukh Khan, 
Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, he was in Mortal Kombat, Shah Khan. <laughs> <laughs> he's the George Clooney of Mortal Kombat? <laughs> He's the George Clooney. He's, he's the one of the most. Him, Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, they're the heartthrobs. They're like the. Uh, they're like the, you know, sort of the. the man's man. Tom Cruise and like oh, cool. you know Robert De Niro. Amitabh Bachchan's an older generation, but Shah Rukh Khan is the the top dog in terms of like world fame. If I if you had to. Is your, is your family super traditional or no? No, not at all. Because my homie growing up, my best friend, his grandma would always show me her midriff. <laughs> Did you guys do that or none of that? Like, yeah, no, like, really, here's the thing, it's really funny. The, this, it's so funny, because- Because like the- The, the, the sorry, yeah, the like, sorry. and so they're wearing the top, and, and so you can see She's like 85, Yeah. So and she comes is, out like this, this all the time. I always wondered this as a kid, and I never had this conversation. <laughs> all the time. But they'll, like- I'm like, your grandma's kind of slutty, yo. <laughs> aunties, they'll just, like, their stomach will hang out. Yep. But if you're like a fit 25 year old, and you show your belly button, it's over. It's like, oh, it's like you know, good. you better run. Someone's, yeah. you're gonna get slashed before you leave the house. Because the grandma, the grandma would do it, the mom would do it, the sister never did it. Exactly. So it's she's not. Got, she's got something to show. You have to, you have to like <laughs> oh, get to a certain. She level might, where she it's might tempt sexual. you. Yeah. I, gu I guess if it's like once it's like, oh, this is no longer. I mean, I don't want. You are no longer desirable you, in that way. Yeah, like, then you start showing it. Uh, yeah. I guess when it's you know when you're no longer a young lady and maybe a oh. more mature woman, or maybe I don't know. It should be opposite. You cover it up when you're old and saggy, and then you leave it up. And when you're there's, young and there's yeah, something different, like, everybody yeah, let it rock. Yeah, I think yeah. let it all rock. It's all I fair. Like all fair in love and war, dude. Yeah, dude, let it rock. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll say this: I have a lot of uh, in my parents' house. We have a lot of Indian artwork, lots of statues of naked women, mm. just yeah, standard, just, yeah. just normal, right? Yeah. Just like ancient art. And my friends growing up, they'll be like, "Yo, dude, you got, you got like." Naked titties, Lots like in your titties. house, and I'm like, "Can we come over?" Yeah, <laughs> bro, it's a wooden statue. Like, what do you? Can I borrow it? I was like, I have a question. Do you not have the internet? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> that's 3D though. <laughs> so, is your family not in the midriff face? My mom doesn't really wear like saris at home, mm -hmm. but not really. Is it like an event thing? Yeah, like at formal events, weddings, parties. You know, if she comes to work events, she'll wear Indian, stuff like that. My yeah. great grandma still wore kimono every day. What? Yeah, but that was the last fucking samurai generation. Oh. That was the end of it. Yeah. Tom Cruise generation. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. The generation. <laughs> Tom Cruise generation. <laughs> the end what? of the last samurai, dude. <clears throat> My dad, uh, he still, he still wears uh, something called a lungi, which is like kind of like a South Asian kilt. Oh, tight. But, but you wear it. It's like just like a kind of like sweatpants, because it's obviously in India, it's hot and humid. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like a cloth kind of toga you tie it around and. Lungi is yeah. that what you called it? L U N G I. And you usually have underwear oh, under that too. You, I would, I would assume traditionally you don't. Oh, that's but like cool. probably now people keep tradition alive, man. Yeah, let it rock. In America, dude. yeah. Let it. I think I'd commando if I lived in India, except if maybe if I was in the Himalayas, it'd be too cold. Too cold. Otherwise, yeah. but then like if you're in a tropical place, the way I think about it is like when I'm in Hawaii, I'll just wear my board shorts and shit, and I'm yeah. not gonna wear underwear. It makes my balls too soggy. So this is yeah. how he like ties it up, <laughs> swinging around. He everywhere. ties it up and yeah, just picks yeah. it up. Otherwise, it'll drape to the ground. It's like a lungi. Oh. That's kind of tight. That's comfortable. That fool looks like business from the waist up and spa from the waist down, dude. <laughs> this guy's ready to party, yo. He's, he's ready to do it. He's on. This man is on a mission. That fool's like. Damn, dude. He's I'm relaxing from the waist down. He's like CIA at the spa. From the last like two years of like the pandemic, did you were you able to pick up a bunch of gigs? Uh, That's why you have all these movies like coming out or, or kind of. I think the industry itself obviously is just bouncing back. Obviously, yeah. the vaccines helped a lot with that. People are able to just get back to work safely. So you are seeing an influx of projects that are starting to hit the market. And also, you know. If you were lucky enough and you had the opportunity, you're able to, to write or create during the pandemic if you had the resources. You know, a lot of animation happened, a lot of video games, uh, just because a lot of uh, recording from home. You know, yeah. I did a lot of recording for for Barbie uh, during the really? pandemic. Yeah, just because yeah, just because we were able. You do you know how to do a Barbie voice? I'm the voice of Ken, dude. No way, you're Ken. Yeah. That's, That's fucking. Oh. I thought we spoke about this did last we? night. You did what? That's dope. Andy do sound so, uh, like Ken. The voice of Ken uh, in what, like Ken so, John? Uh, we were on a Netflix. Dr. Ken we have a Netflix. <laughs> Barbie, uh, Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. There's like multiple spin-offs. That's the, kind of the title of the uh -huh. show. But it's on Netflix. We have a bunch of movies, a bunch of series, some new stuff coming out. Uh, this, this might be a dumb question, but you voicing a white Ken? Oh yeah, baby. 
That's what is that, sucks. That's appropriation, my friend. That's kind of that's fucked right. up, bro. I'm taking it back. Yeah. I'm taking that shit back. You're taking white man's jobs, yeah. bro. That's crazy. This is like the tech industry in Silicon Valley. <laughs> what? It's, all the CEOs are Indians, so you know, yeah. the whitest boy in America. Bro. I want to play Ronald Reagan or some shit. You run fucking right. Google, you could be Ken. Dude, Dude imagine Ronald Reagan not. with this guy's voice. <laughs> this is it. You could do it. You could do it, Bart. Or JFK. That'd be tight. Today's video is brought to you by Hello Fresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-portioned food delivered right to your door. So skip the trips to the grocery store, make cooking fun with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. What's cool is HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items, and you can choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, so you have plenty of variety. That's actually one of my favorite things about them, is depending on uh, what diet or what phase of training I'm in, they got me covered. Like if I'm in a bulking phase, I go with the gourmet, get the bomb flavors, mm. got full everything, you know? Mm. And if I'm on a diet, they have the calorie smart ones where everything is generally under 600 calories. I can stay within my caloric limits. Mm. So I love that they have all that. And if my mom came and joined us, we got the vegetarian option too. And they got all kinds of food from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even stuff that you can bake, like their ginger spice cake truffles. You could do that for the holiday season, and you can have it and enjoy it with your family. And on average, you save about $65 a month if you go with HelloFresh meal kits, because everything is already pre-proportioned. You don't have to buy anything in excess compared to going to a grocery store, where sometimes they force you to buy 20 carrots at a time when you only needed one. So if you're intimidated by cooking, you don't have to be. There's an easy way to get cooking and cook some gourmet, tasty stuff for not only you or your family or whoever you're living with. So go to hellofresh.com slash off the record 14 and get up to 14 free meals. That's freaking insane. That's one meal a day for two weeks straight or two meals a day for one week. That's a lot of food. Give them a try. Use the code off the record 14 at HelloFresh.com. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Number one. So is the voice of Barbie like some black dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tyler Barbie's Perry. played by a, a wonderful actress. Amer Her name is America Young. Um, America Young? Yeah. That's Hi. a little too appropriate considering we got the Indian guy voicing Ken over here. They had to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is the perfect one. It's like, we need to balance this. Just in case anybody complains about it, Barbie's played by someone named America. And America. you recorded it at home? Uh, yeah, recorded at home. I actually, yeah. the first episode that I did, or the first job that I did during the pandemic, um, I recorded an episode of Barbie out of my mom's sorry closet. But she, she just has like, That's she like converted my brother's old closet into so just nice. like, she just put it all herself. Cause it's all yeah. soundproof. Just like all Indian clothes, it has all the fabric. Yeah. So, so I literally, literally just clamped like the mic in there. Full circle, dude, yeah, full yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah. And so it's just like a small little closet oh, that I could yeah. sit, I could put a chair in. Can you, can you give us one line in the Ken voice? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, JK News, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? Oh, you're such a blonde white boy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was a blonde white guy. Dang. Everyone else. Close. I thought you were gonna come out of your eyes and replay that, yeah, or just watch a show on Netflix. <laughs> Both. Dude, I saw you in a red Corvette too. I I, re yeah, I was imagining a convertible. Yeah. yeah. He was driving. What um, is there when you're doing like voice acting? Is there things that are different than when you're like acting like they can see your face? Uh, you know, I think sort of for me as an uh, as a, approaching the characters as uh, as an actor, it's. Voiceover because they're not seeing the physicality of, mm. of uh, visually of what you're bringing to the character. You really do have to kind of um, express it, that yeah. in in the, the vocal range. Yeah. So sometimes it feels like, oh, uh, maybe I'm doing too much, right? Maybe you wouldn't do that if it was live action, yeah. because when you're watching live action, you're, you're seeing the whole thing. You're hearing and you're seeing, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but when it's voiceover, you're you're giving your energy to something else, mm. and so you have to convey that. And so that helps the animators. That may help the writers down the road when they're when they're mm. writing for the character. Um, also, because it is a cartoon, you can do you know weird shit happens in, car in cartoons. It's not real life, yeah. so you can get away with a lot more. So as a result, sometimes you can be a little bit more. Uh, I don't want to say overacting, but I'd rather say just more expressive. Mm. Uh, you can you can paint with a little bit more bolder colors. Mm. Uh, just because it's that's the world that you live in. It's, it's a world of a cartoon. You know, yeah. it's a little bit more imagination. I, I could picture you saying that during like a voice actors convention, and someone in the audience there 
is a voice acting dubber for hentai porn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm gonna moan harder. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'll tell you this, man. There you go. There you go. Like, you, you gotta make it believable, you know? That's true, because some of those dubs you know, just take me out of the world, and man, I'm like, I can't jack off to this. Why can't you talk like Ken? <laughs> the voices aren't squeaky enough, huh? But there, there's an episode where Ken teaches Barbie Bungra, because we were talking about Bungra, yeah, because they let me do it. That's dope. Yeah. That's so cool. Wait, so you. You, they like, did, they videotaped me dancing. And then Ken was, that's Bongra dance! They copied and they just did a uh, like motion capture. So White yes. Ken was teaching oh, yeah. Barbie Bongra? Oh yeah. That's Whoa, that's cool. cool. I want to see them wow. get canceled for this. They're like, <laughs> why is this white man teaching them Bongra? Wait, 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 wait. The voice actor's Indian. Oh. Named America Damn. Young. Wait, fuck, who was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> we need the Indian guy. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. That's very interesting. All voice done. acting. Yeah. That's cool. To try to, you know, bring a little culture to the table and Give, give give Ken a little love. What else does Ken teach? Does he teach like martial arts and shit? Like, Not yet. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. <laughs> well, uh, maybe in the next season. I'll be what did they down do? Down. Do they like... Because, I mean, I never knew what Barbie and Ken, what their mission was. They never fucked. <laughs> What's their mission statement? <laughs> <laughs> What's their They're goal? best friends, man. Well, yeah, yeah, but G.I. Joe, Joe yeah. got like yeah. a villain. Right? Got a lot they of shit got, going on. Like in every story, you need G.I. <laughs> Joe. G.I. Joe's a soldier. Yeah. I don't know. So I mean, like, what do Barbie and Ken do? Like, what's their thing? What do 18-year-olds do? In hey. California. Oh yeah, oh, but they're yeah. passionate. Oh, they're surfing all the time. Yeah, Ken. Ken loves. No, like, what's the story? What's the storyline? You know, like, even I mean, I, I, I'm when I'm watching Full House, I don't expect them to fucking fight crime. But like, <laughs> you think DJ, DJ, and yeah, there's a villain. There's Jesse, like, Cons what's Jesse Consopolis? Yeah, there's oh, Jane. There's, so there's something that happens, right? So like in a Barbie Ken show, like, well, every it's a children's cartoon, so there's obviously like a storyline. They so should fight cool. crime a little so bit. They do. <laughs> they do. They like sometimes. There's episodes where they solve mysteries. They, you know, I know there's one episode. Uh, where Ken is trying out to be the school mascot, you know. Okay, so they got goals. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that. They have their summer vacation episodes. Oh, let's go get. Yeah, I got my job at the at the the water park, or we're oh, we're going yeah. on vacation, or are they a couple? It's birthday. It's very much will they, won't they. Ah. And so the show actually does a really great job, and there's some really beautiful moments of these kind of tender, loving like embarrassing real life moments. They've really uh, done a great job. The cast and crew have really done a great job of sort of pushing Barbie into the modern world. So oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's actually, it's, if, you know, for kids and parents, it's great to watch together. She's kind of like Paris Hilton. <laughs> That's a, in what way? Uh, keep going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll see where this goes. Yeah. I'm gonna stay Bye. quiet on this one. Well, um, I think Paris Hilton Jack Barbie to be honest, mm. like, Barbie came first. The original billionaire. Paris, Paris <laughs> yeah, but then Paris, like, went slutty with it. Does, Barbie's still, like, wholesome, because she didn't age. Barbie's Barbie. got 48 PhDs in every profession. Really? Oh, yeah, she oh, does. She does. She's, yeah. like, the every job. Does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris yeah. Hilton did the simple life. Does, does, she have, does she have a dog uh, in a small bag? Does she? Does Barbie carry So the, the family, in the cartoon, the family has, has the dogs. They have all the dogs. Wait, Barbie comes from a family? Yeah, so you meet Barbie's... You, you, What's I think mission, though? I, I, no, I thought she was an independent woman, and she was old enough to buy her own things. No, 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 she's 18. She lives at home with her parents. Oh. Like she's in high school. Oh, she's. They have to give her a backstory. Her, shit, right? her her mom is. I forget what they do. They're just all geniuses. Is her mom fine? <laughs> mom's hot. Barbie's mom's. I hot. don't know that much about Barbie. I feel like the Barbie what world the is just full hot? of fine ass people. <laughs> Dad's played uh, by uh, an, another Asian actor, fellow no Asian way. actor, Greg. Yeah, Greg Chun. I don't know if you guys. Greg Chung? Chun? Chun? Yeah. Plays, double check me that. Plays double check. Barbie's double check so dad? Greg doesn't kill me. <laughs> Barbie's dad yeah. is, a, is yeah. also an Asian dude. Yes. He cool. does a lot of voices for How come I don't see this shit on Next Shark? I don't know his Barbie? resume as well as mine, so I can't, but he's very does that, accomplished. Does that mean so. Barbie's getting scolded a lot and tell her? Her SAT scores weren't as high as Ken's. That's yeah. basically what happens. <laughs> and like, so Ken is there really just because he's able to get Barbie a free Kumon uh, yeah. subscription. <laughs> so. He's a tutor there. Yeah. That's, that's season two. Because <laughs> the, the, new, the new Bugs Bunny is a Filipino guy. Right? Yeah. No he does, and he does a lot of, he does a lot of characters. He, he washes it. He does a lot. Is he, he like, eh, like, what's up, Doc? Do you want the McDonald's? 
Like that? No, Ryan, he sounds does that check like out? just does the that original. Good? He sounds just like the original. <laughs> oh, like the Filipino journey, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Filipino journey, oh, dude. Yeah. He's like imitated I thought it for was so a... long that he just gets yeah. the job. Oh, okay. I thought he was a Filipino Bugs Bunny. Like, he's just like <laughs> no, no, back no, no, no. out and shit. You no, know? He's Filipino like... American. And he, uh, oh. yeah, he's a new Bugs Bunny. That would be so <laughs> sick if, if it was Pax Bunny. Pax Bunny. <laughs> Damn, yeah, we, so we got, we got, you know. Why's everything gotta be so normal? Like, why can't we make it a little racist? Oh, God <laughs> damn it. We need to restore the balance in the Just world. a little bit, you know? It's a little fun. <laughs> Making everything all normal and shit. You look hot as fuck right here. I'm trying, man. Let me see that can, bro. Let me see. Nah, it's just for me, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. He's Googling yeah. photos. Yeah. So the show's out now? Yeah, on Netflix. Oh, yeah, got a bunch of seasons, a bunch of movies. I'm about to watch Barbie, fool. Wow. Oh, dude, who's that fine motherfucker? Why you got his yeah. picture like that for? Because it's hot as fuck. What? Yeah, why would you save a friend's picture? like that because he likes looking at me man what's wrong with that no i mean like on your screensaver though what's wrong with that <laughs> are, you are you jealous what's your fucking paris hilton over here yeah airdrop us oh, airdrop, <laughs> airdrop all of us yeah i need i need a desktop yeah, yeah. i need it for my phone <laughs> watch next time you come all of our back it's phone. just gonna be a picture of me it's oh, so, so, so sweet of you guys we know this guy bro yeah. he's ken in barbie he's ken <laughs> and he's not white at all yeah. <laughs> when i tell people they're always they it's always a double take they're like, excuse me, and they don't want to be rude. What was the craziest reaction you got when you told somebody that you're gonna be Ken from Barbie? Outrage. <laughs> <laughs> they just punch you in the face. <laughs> Someone spit in my face. Just a protest outside with picket fences. No, yeah. it needs to be a white guy. Um, <laughs> oh, it's cultural. Or when they told you you got the part, did they say that it like kind of most... gimmicky, where they're like, or were they like, you're gonna be Ken? <laughs> so, How about that? So that we're... my agent. So my agent. <laughs> He called me, I had done a job for Mattel before where I played um, just like Barbie's friend. I thought you were gonna say Barbie's car. <laughs> <laughs> I played Barbie, actually. I played Barbie, yeah. Um, I played Barbie's friend, he was just like an Indian dude that lived down the street, looked like me, so I was just excited. I was like, oh, this is cool. cool. Yeah, this is cool. And so then they called me in, they were like, hey, do you want to audition for Ken? Wow. And I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, so like, yeah, like right. you know what I mean? Like, sure, I'm not gonna. Like, oh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that's like, right there. That's Ken. Right Hello. <laughs> you want to be Ken? Bro? You can be Ken. Like, How do I sound now? <laughs> and so I was like, all right, I don't think it's gonna go my way, but yeah. this is a great opportunity. I was trying to break into voiceover at the time. Yeah. Um, I sent in a tape. Didn't hear for like a month. Just forgot about it. It's always like that, huh? My agent calls me and he's like, yo, dude, uh, got some great news. And I'm like, oh, shit, what did I book? I'm thinking it's some cartoon or some video game that I did last week. He's like, you're gonna be the, the next Ken. And I was like, and it was just silent. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that's pretty that's crazy. So cool, that's a big fucking and I was deal. like, I was like, all right, man, yeah. if that's, what they want to do, I'm down. And then the rest is history. And it's been a really, really, really great experience. The the, the cast and crew, uh, we've done so much together, so many stories, and, and I, I think we've really kind of pushed the brand forward. And the show is just a lot of, it's just. It's I fun. wish you wanted it more, man. I'm disappointed <laughs> in that story. I wish it wasn't so dash a lot. I wish you were like, it's been my lifelong dream to be fucking Ken, though. You, want, you wanted like people protesting out. I wanted you to, no, I wanted you to be like, man, as a little boy, I saw fucking Barbie and Ken, and I was like, I wanna be him, man. He gets all the hot girls. And you're like, and then I fucking became Ken. I exacted my revenge. See, that would have been a great story. Where do we protest? So when, we, when protest. we write the movie, when you write the movie of the origin stories, I'll do it. That's how you have to start it. You have to start it like that. One Indian man became a blonde white from the slu from the slums. From yes, the slums. I gotta be from the slums. From the slums. <laughs> it's gotta be some sort of Bollywood music yeah. on top. On top. The slutty grandma, slutty grandma showing the midriff. Yeah, you guys can do like slutty grandma. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah, exactly. You guys can come in and just dance right across the screen. Your sister's playing with fucking Barbie and Ken and shit, and you're like a little boy. You're like. Oh, yeah. I want to be that one day. And my dad takes it and throws it in the yeah. fire. And like, I can't. He's, no, you must be a doctor. <laughs> you can never be Ken. You can never do anything other than STEM. I can be anything STEM. I want to be. <laughs> Did you ever send in voice You're work for Ken? Way. And you felt like they were trying to say, make it less Indian? <laughs> That'd be no. so funny. But, but they said it in a different way. 
You know what's a note they always give me and that I always find Like, hilarious? can you turn it down a little bit, they're please? Always, they're always like, ah, when we're having Barbie and Ken moments, they're like, that was, that was too manly. We need to, like, turn it down a little bit. Really? Yeah, that's the one note. And that just kind of depends on like whether I went, I went, I went out the next. That just depends on the time of morning. It's like, did I have a couple of beers last night? Did I have more than a couple of beers last night? Like, that's a good note. You know, and that's when they're like, hey, Tash, can you just lighten, lighten it up a little bit? They're sounding a little manly. <laughs>